Today, Canada joins 43 other countries who have taken measures to ban cosmetic animal testing. Indeed, our government has now passed legislation banning the testing of cosmetic products on animals in Canada. With the passing of Bill C-47 late last week, the Food and Drugs Act has been amended to ban cosmetic animal testing. This means that it is now prohibited to test cosmetics on animals in Canada. Companies will no longer be able to sell cosmetics that rely on animal testing data to establish product safety, and it is now prohibited to create false or misleading statements concerning the testing of, of cosmetics on animals. Today's announcement shows that we have reached a point where we can fulfill safety requirements for cosmetics without resorting to animal testing and without compromising the health and safety of Canadians. That will also increase the confidence of Canadians in the use of cosmetics and facilitate trade with countries with similar measures. Today's announcement is about the prohibition of additional testing on animals due to cosmetics. We want to stop that and therefore it does three things. So it, it stops animal testing for cosmetics in Canada. It also bans the products that will be, that would be, could be tested on animals in other countries in the future, banning the sales of those products in Canada. It also prohibits false and misleading information shared on cosmetic uh, testing on animals in the future. Now that does all sorts of great things, all of them due to the great leadership and partnership that we have heard from and on in the last few minutes. It also sends a signal to other countries, which we know should also be uh, following suit. It also sends uh, signals to those countries that would like to sell products in Canada in the future, that will know from now onwards that they won't be able to do that if they test those products on animals in the world. Um, so this victory is truly decades in the making, and it's a watershed moment for animals, for everyone who works to protect them, and for all of Canada. It's also proof of just what can be achieved when the nonprofit sector, industry, scientists, government, and the public all come together to realize a vision of a better future. Moving forward, we intend to continue that collaboration to help the Canadian government to invest in the innovations that will provide better testing methods that are more effective, safer for people, and don't use animals. But right now, I'm just really grateful to be able to say, at last, Canadians can rest assured that the beauty products they buy in this country are cruelty-free.